Yes, I 3D printed a YouTube play button for Jack Sucks at Life, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I did it. Here it is right here. This is the one I'm sending to him. Now, in the rare case that you don't know who Jack Sucks at Life is, basically he has a YouTube channel with almost 2 million subscribers where he posts YouTube videos about usually play buttons and other cool fun things that he does. It's just a really fun channel, but he uploaded this on one of his other channels that has a super long name and it's pretty fun. <laughs> if you want to check out his unboxing, I'll leave a link in the description. It's pretty cool. It's waiting for him. I just got to ship it. So yeah let's talk about this now before i do click that subscribe button for more videos like this because i'm going to be 3d printing more awards how cool is that so what is this basically this is a bigger version of this <laughs> so like a year ago i made this and i 3d printed it which basically the, a machine melts plastic into a shape and so this is what i made with it the idea was this was an award for 50 500,000 subscribers or something, I don't know, uh, called the Obsidian Play Button. Now I said I would make one for Jack Sucks at Life, and so I did, but I wanted to make it bigger. So yeah, as you can see, I decided to print two of these. I made two, because I was sort of like, I have a smaller one, Jack's getting a bigger one, but I like the bigger one, so I just thought, I'm gonna make one for myself. So yeah, I did make two of these, so I'm gonna go over how I did it. So first, I designed the award online on a website called Tinkercad. It was based off of a diamond play button thing that's on the internet. Then I played around with some shapes, and then I made it bigger. And I threw it into the 3D printing software, which you can see here. Looks pretty cool. Then all you gotta do is load that into the printer, and it prints automatically. <laughs> So I sort of made updates throughout the printing, so just, you know, take a watch. There it is down there. So here we go, it's actually starting now. This is going to be the size. All right, so around seven hours left until it finishes printing. And uh, here's what it looks like so far. So this is perfect size, like the perfect size that I was going for when I initially designed that one. All right, so the printer says that it's 60% uh, done and it should be done in like two or three hours. And uh, here's the status update. It's starting to take form. Pretty cool. It's huge. Okay, so the main body has finally finished printing. That is huge. So the main body is done and it's huge, man. It's way bigger than the other one. The other one is, uh, see the other one's this size, right? You can fit it in your hand. This one, you can barely fit, which is really cool. So I'm gonna make two of these cause I want one. All right, so everyone, it's been two days and it's finally done printing the second one. That's right, I made two. So the play buttons are partially done. As you can see here, we have two bodies. We just need the red parts for in here. I haven't gone to sleep yet and I'm having breakfast before I sleep because this thing is too loud to sleep through. But it's finally done. It finally printed. The last, ow, oh, that's hot. Yeah. Bam, check that out. This is still warm. <laughs> oh wow, we finally have two play buttons ready to go. That looks really cool. So now we're at the point in the making of the play button where we can glue the red part into it, the triangle piece. So they'll be glued in and it'll fit really nicely and it'll look like this, basically. So we got some Gorilla Glue, it's pretty fancy. Gotta be careful. Triangle in. And that's really all that we have to do to glue it. Well, here they both are, ready to ship actually, cause I'm doing that right now. <laughs> Just wanna get one final shot of all three together. So yeah, uh, it's much bigger. It's kind of, it has some weight to it, which I'm kind of surprised by because it's, it's just plastic and it's kind of hollow as well. It's cool to have, I don't know. You can't break it, that's for sure. It's, uh, it's obsidian. You need the diamond play button to break this one. So yeah, I have one now. Uh, this one's mine right here. I do have some ideas. I'm gonna print more like this. I have a lot of red plastic to melt. 
So yeah, that is how I 3D printed an award for Jack Sucks of Life. It was pretty fun. He does a lot of play button videos and I do a lot as well. So it's like, why not, you know? So yeah, Jack, you're welcome. If I ever make more of this, you know, maybe I'll make you some more cause it's pretty cool. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this and want to see me make more, click that subscribe button. Cause I make a lot of videos on YouTube awards. Thank you very much for watching guys. Fly on. Oh, 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 oh,